Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Winnet and you are tuned into Cooking with Win. If you are new to my channel, welcome and please do not forget to subscribe. For all my returning subscribers, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make Liberian edo soup. For my edo soup, I'll be using five edos. And for my seasoning, I'll be using black pepper, paprika, adobo or purple seasoning, seasoned salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'll be using two habanero pepper, two garlic, and one onion. And I'll be adding some dry fish. So the dry fish I'll be using today is called kangwe. You can get this from the African food store. So I went ahead and soak it in water for 30 minutes. And after I took it out of the water, this is how it looked. So this is the fish that I'm using. You can use any other dry fish of your choice. And that's the name as well. And I'll also be adding some dry bony. You can also soak the bony as well. Now I'll go ahead and cut up my onions. So I'll cut one half of the onion into smaller dice and the other half into medium dice. Once I'm done cutting my onions, I'll add my medium diced onion and my bell pepper along with my garlic into the blender. Once I was done blending my onion to the side look, I'll set this aside and I'll add my small diced onion into the bowl and I'll also set that aside and move over to getting my edos ready. So I'm just using my potato peeler to peel the edos. You can use a potato peeler or you can use a knife, but to be more safe, I would recommend you using a potato peeler. After peeling the edo with the potato peeler, this is how it looks. So I'll just go ahead and peel the rest of the edo off camera and after that I'll show you guys the next step. Now I'll just go ahead and cut my edos into medium dice. After cutting up the edos, I'll take this to the sink and wash it. Now my edos are all clean, it's time to add all the ingredients into the pot. I'll start by adding in my diced onions, my blended pepper, onions and garlic, my dry fish and my dry pony. And I'll also be adding in my seasonings. After I added everything to the pot, I'll be adding some water. So the thing about this, you can use vegetable or chicken broth to make your soup. Once I add the water into the pot, I'll take this to the stove and cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, I will be checking on my soup. So you just want to go ahead and taste the soup to make sure it's well seasoned to your liking. If it's not seasoned, go ahead and add more seasoning. If it's seasoned, just leave it as it is. After tasting it, it wasn't seasoned to my liking, so I just added one cube. I'll let this cook for another 25 to 30 minutes. After another 30 minutes, I check on my soup. I'll be testing my edo to see if it's ready. So to tell if your edo is ready, you want to use a fork and juke the fork into the edo. Once the fork passes through the edo, that means the edo is ready. So I'll be mashing some of the edo into the soup to help thicken the soup. So I will let this cook for five more minutes, and after that, I will just let it cool before serving. At this stage, your soup is ready. So I went ahead and turned the stove off and just let it sit on the stove for a few minutes for it to cool. 
since my soup was done cooling, I went ahead and split it and this is how it looks. If you haven't tried this before, go ahead and give it a try. And if you do give it a try, let me know in the comment section what you think. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, like and share, and leave me a comment down below. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video and I will talk to you guys in my next video.